AFTV Thai, I'm happy today. I mean, it was a great game. Was it a great game? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a great, I thought it was an entertaining game. It was an entertaining when it went to 2-1, by 2-0. What's the matter with you this season? <laughs> what? <laughs> what you You're getting all miserable and that. You're starting to turn <laughs> into... Uh, it's because Wenger's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Is it because Wenger's gone? Is it, really? Is it really? <laughs> but then, but the beat, but Come on, cheer up, man. Hold on. But What's he's wrong with that today? But he said it was Wenger gone. Did, who wasn't um, Arsenal here before Arsenal? It was, yeah. Exactly. But so what's wrong no, with you at the no, moment? You know what I mean? You're yeah. pretty not, negative, not, you know what I mean? It was an entertaining game. I'm not negative. It wasn't. I'm just saying it wasn't entertaining until it was 2-1. And it should have been all over. That's all. Yeah, so. it, we, well, we were coasting it. Yeah. And then they got back in the game. And it, it, that's what I mean. It was a great game. And for about a 15-minute period, we were hanging on a bit. Yeah, we were hanging on, but I couldn't see them scoring. But, you know, we should have we finished them. We could have had a third, fourth. You know, so, but Alexander once again coming up with a fantastic goal. Well done to Danny. The second goal was absolutely brilliant. Great move, wasn't it? It's a fantastic move. And, mm. you know, it's, it's a good um, omen, hopefully, for Saturday. Because the first, first yeah. team has played, got some valuable minutes. Hopefully, there's not too much injuries mm. as well. Players um, have been getting a lot of stick, including Danny Welbeck, stepping up. Um, you know, we saw, we saw even the other day, even some players having a go at him saying that, you know, how is he in the England team ahead of them? But, you know, he's, he's, he's stepping up this season, isn't Some he? Some players like who? Oh, yeah, Troy Deeney said that the other day, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> what, that, why is Danny in England team ahead of Well, him? I think he was complaining that, you know, players like himself, yeah. And some other players, you know what I mean? Yeah. They've been scoring goals, they've been playing well. Yeah. Why is Danny Welbeck in the team ahead of them? Is what he was sort of saying. But Welbeck, again, a couple more goals again tonight. Listen, he scored the goals. And he, I think he's one of England's top goal scorers after Rooney or yeah. something. So, um, well, that's interesting, Deeney saying that. I suppose Deeney, he's played well, possibly he deserves a call up. But there's a lot of players who could say that. Mm. You know, but Danny's got the experience, doesn't he? I mean, he went to the World Cup after not getting a lot of games. But he hardly played, but he's got experience. Mm. So someone like him is crucial and two goals again tonight, fantastic. I think think he needs more minutes, but it's difficult. With, mm. When you've got fantastic goal scorers like Pierre and Alexander, it's going to be difficult. Mm. But he's a very, very useful man to, mm. to bring off the bench and to hopefully win games for us. What do you make of Smith Rowe? I know you go to watch a lot of the under-23 yeah, yeah, yeah. games. That's interesting. Um, it's interesting that you asked me because I saw his parents before the game today. Mm. They must have been excited. Yeah, they were excited. So, you know, the ideal scenario was for us to win and Emil to score, but unfortunately didn't, nearly did. It was a great block by Brentford play, but I mean, it's fantastic for Emil to be in the first team, you know, mm. playing, doing well. Fantastic, fantastic. And it's only, only the start for him. Mm. It was a shame that we didn't see players like Joe, Joe Willock and Eddie, Eddie and Ketia, but... Manager's been a bit ruthless there, isn't it? He's like, I don't really, he's like, you know, all right, yes, the youngsters, hopefully you get a chance. But once that got back to 2 1, he's like, hold on, no, I'm going to have to win this. I don't care about no giving youngsters. He, he's a different, you can see he's got a little bit of a different mentality to these sort of games than Arsene Wenger, hasn't he? Yeah, he has, he has, but I still think Arsene wanted to win. But listen, no, it's not that Arsene didn't want to win. Obviously, he wanted to win. But these sort of games, he play a lot of youngsters. The manager now is like, no, I'm going to win this first. Maybe the youngsters will get on later on. Well, absolutely. I think he wants to try and hopefully get a trophy in the cabinet as soon as possible. And then he can maybe use them. But I mean, the youngsters are doing all right because um, mm. we beat Liverpool 4-0 last week, Friday. You know, and there was goals from Eddie and Kenti mm. Joe Willock as well. And we also beat Coventry as well. Mm. Commentary at the Rico Arena, so they're doing all right, but yeah, yeah, we're going along nicely. So, mm. who'd you like in the next round? <laughs> That's a good question. I think the DT say he wanted Tottenham, yeah. Mm. I wanted Watford. Oh, they're right, aren't they? Okay, no, no, just joking, just joking, just joking, just joking, just joking. He's looking for you at the weekend. Dini, why, why, why is he looking? He's gonna come slap you up, man. Slap up who? What, what, physically or verbally? Huh? Maybe physically, the way you're carrying on. Well, uh, you know, I, I don't entertain no physical foolishness. Verbally, he could, no, he, he, he could, and nobody could slap me up verbally. So you know, he couldn't but, deal with you verbally. No way, not, 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 not a chance here. I wouldn't even say the word. Rhymes with bell. No, no, no. Ain't you but, forgiving him for that little thing he said? What's that? The cojones thing. You can feel. Did, did, did he apologize? Huh? Did he did he say he was wrong? I don't know. But okay then. If he, if, but the thing is, it's, it's gone, isn't it? It's yeah, gone. Yeah, he it's flopped, gone. he bombed, 
you know, he's gone, isn't it? So, you know, I've, I've forgotten about it. I've forgotten about how he's saying that Mezu is um, naive and then he missed a penalty and he dropped his balls on the on the Emirates pitch. Oh, no, I've forgotten about that. No, no, that's over, that's over. No, no, no. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, another, it's another game, isn't it? I actually tipped him to score against Bash United. Unfortunately, and he didn't in, in um, me and Corsa. No, 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 no. The thing is, I think he was wrong. People are saying it like you were saying that. You think he was right, didn't you? What I did think you think at the time when he said Arsenal lack cojones, I think he was making a great point. Yeah, but the thing is, though. The thing but, is, and I'm seeing more cojones this season. That's yeah. what I'm liking. Yeah. I've seen guys like Lischsteiner, guys like uh, Socrates. Those guys have got cojones. Torreira. You know what I mean? I'm liking what I'm seeing in those guys. We need, we've needed that tie. We've needed that bit of fight. Yeah, yeah. No, but the thing is, I just, I think the problem was with that. Listen, if you win, be happy. But there's no need to be giving it. Why? Why? What's the worth in gloating? That's. I, I think that's a lack of respect and disappointing. You know. Okay. So, but you said, who do we want in? This, want next? Who do you want next? Um. Hopefully, without underestimating them, Derby County or Nottingham Forest at home. Derby. Yeah, Derby are difficult, but you know. <laughs> I don't know if I want them, they look good. They, they, they look good, but you know, Emirates, who, you know, Emirates, I think we're capable enough to beat yeah. anyone. You know, we're, we're not going to underestimate because we didn't underestimate Brentford and it was very, very comfortable. The, funny enough is the Brentford fans came with a lot of talk, but unfortunately, if, if, if their team could have played the way the Brentford fans were talking, then maybe they would have done something. Because I remember, was it the Real Football show, Fan Show when I saw a Brentford? It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a peasant woman. She was saying how, oh yeah, that Josh De Silva, he turned down a contract with us like it's a big deal. Don't get me wrong, Josh was a good player and Josh was cool. But, you know, I think I saw Brentford fans before the game. They was going 3-0. I said, yeah, 3 to us. I said, maybe 10 nil. But, you know, that's all. It, 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 it's, I, I'm not, I don't disrespect Brentford, but until it went to 2-1, it seemed like a pretty friendly to me. But, you know, we dealt with them. Onto the onto the next game against Watford, we're gonna we're gonna see the flop. Tro oh, sorry, I mean Troy Deeney on <laughs> Sunday. So, <Don't> <laughs> just <it>. joking. <laughs>